Hello, biology students. We're doing photosynthesis notes today, and we're in theme one, topic two, energy, photosynthesis, and respiration. Page one. We just finished ecology, so we're restarting a new unit or topic two, and we're renumbering our notes back at number one in our spiral. All righty, let's get going. Our first thing is we're going to make the first header to be Roman numeral number one. Label the diagram of an autotroph during photosynthesis. If we're in class, I'm going to give you this as a paste-in. If you're making this up at home or I assign it for homework, I'm going to suggest that you just draw a very simple flower and the sun, and we're going to label things in our notebook rather than doing lots of bullets for this slide. So right here, it's very tiny, but this line here says light energy comes from here, and that's sunlight, okay? So what goes into the process of photosynthesis? Sunlight. And then the next thing is, this comes from the air, and that thing is carbon dioxide. So make sure we have arrows going towards our plant for sunlight, arrows going towards our plant for carbon dioxide. Our next thing going towards our plant is water. All of these three things that we first listed, sunlight, carbon dioxide, and water, are all needed. That's why we have arrows going into and towards the plant for photosynthesis. The next two things are going to be some of the stuff that we um, either find inside the plant already or are made. So our next thing is going to be chlorophyll. And chlorophyll is what makes plants green on the inside. And that's a pigment that allows for the sun's light to be caught in the first place. And lastly, one of the major products of photosynthesis is oxygen. The oxygen is the gas that comes off after photosynthesis happens. So what we're going to do here in this last slide is a summary equation that summarizes as the header for Roman numeral number two says. The photosynthesis equation, we're going to label two different things, the reactants and the products. And I highly suggest you can draw just the words or you can have cute symbols above the words, but you need the words and the symbols between the words. So let's start. The first thing that is in a formal photosynthesis equation is energy. And because this is before the big arrow in this reaction, it is a reactant. So we can label sunlight or energy as a reactant. And then the next thing plus water, Water, again, is also before the arrow and required for photosynthesis, so it's also a reactant. And lastly, we have carbon dioxide, also a reactant required for photosynthesis. And then after the arrow, we have the end products, the results of photosynthesis. So we can label these last two with the vocab word products. The end of the equation or the reaction of photosynthesis is sugar, okay? We'll learn more about what type specifically. And then we're going to have also oxygen. Remember we decided that plants are all called producers or autotrophs. They make their own food. Well, this sugar here is going to be like the food that the plant made on its own. And that's really important because our big theme for this whole quarter is that all living things are going to use energy. And photosynthesis is a wonderful way of harnessing energy from the environment and putting it into a more usable form of energy. All right, you made it through this set of notes. That was it, okay? Good job.